Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Karshina with First Stones Productions and you made it back to another edition of Kill Count right here on the channel. Stick around, let's count down. Killer animal movies? Yes, that's a subgenre all its own and we're counting down some classic movies you should be watching. Slugs, 1988, currently streaming on Tubi TV, and if you catch it at the right time, it's also on Netflix, so you have options to watch. This horror film from Juan Pique or J.P. Simone, also known as Slugs, Muerto Viscosa, features a ridiculous premise, some great gore, and a lot of slimy slugs. There's so much stuff to remember about this fun horror flick. J.P. also had the slasher film Pieces. It's worth mentioning that this was an adaptation of a Sean Hudson novel, and according to some, Sean absolutely hated this movie. It has three or four rows of teeth. Don't turn on the tap. <coughs> Don't go in the basement. But the irony is that Sean also wrote a sequel called Breeding Ground. If you can remember the barrage of killer insect horror movies from the 70s and 80s, this is the film for you. If you don't remember a decade of killer animals and insects, this film is still for you. Oh, and you know this is a good film if the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra can lay down some tunes for an unknown production company with unknown actors. This is boring. Let's go swimming or something. Well, hey, there's something slimy down there. I don't like it. Aw, oh, you're trying to scare me. Hey! Oh. Perfect combination of 50 style monster mayhem, 80s kitsch, and solid gore. The opening title credit looks like they had the budget to find someone who had pretty cursive handwriting, but for what it's worth, the blue made it seem more vibrant than the usual red lettering in horror films. There was Bug from 1975, which was pretty violent for being rated PG, and Squirm, which was about worms, and The Nest from the early 80s. You also had frogs, Cujo, and the biggest killer animal of all, beside mankind, was Jaws. Come on, guy. You don't see these slugs on your couch? Come on. No, 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 get out of it. Don't let me, no. A horror movie about killer slugs? 80s Schlockfest at its best. The interiors, like inside the restaurant, was filmed in Spain, and exterior shots, like you see the countless number of driving scenes, was filmed in New York. What's going on here? I don't understand this music. Please, someone tell me this is the actual music. Wait, so the Royal Philharmonic did this music to this soundtrack? You've got to be kidding me. It is so hilarious. And speaking of driving, my favorite scenes are when we get footage of a car arriving at some house, and yes, there are random car drives throughout this entire movie, just for the heck of it. Oh yeah, the main lead's name was Mike Brady. Someone was influenced by the Brady Bunch. Those things are big. Big, they're gigantic. Ah, thing bit me what sounds like an 80s sitcom musical, only to be followed by an absolutely horrifying gore is a slasher thrasher dream. Fun fact, slugs really do carry parasitic worms that burrow into the brain, so always wash your hands after touching them. And after so much talk about salt, I always wondered why no one just sprinkled salt over them, but then that wouldn't make for such a good film like this now, would it? These are the confirmed deaths and slugs. I'm gonna go over body count, victim, the killer and the cause of death. Body count one, the boy in the boat in the opening scene. The killer was the slugs because he was swarmed by the slugs and drowned in fresh water. Two, two is questionable, but we're gonna add her into the tally at the end. Why? She's a naked blonde teenager who we will assume won't be able to row, row, row her boat back to the shore. The true number two, not to be confused with the girl, but the true number two is the man in the house. First off, if your kerosene lamp can't shed light on the slugs on your couch, then yeah, you're gonna die. Slugs swarmed him in his mouth, his groin, and his eyes popping out with slugs. Three, Mr. Moss. He partially killed himself, hacking off his hand in what appears to be a scene taken out of the Benny Hill playbook or the Three Stooges. Everything that can go wrong went wrong, and it's hilarious. You just can't make this stuff up. But ultimately, the explosion did him in. Four, Mrs. Moss. Yep, the explosion. Five, a hamster. 
Oh no, not the hamster. But yes, as an experiment, he got mauled by the slugs. Six, Donna Moss. She was killed by the slugs. Whoops. Someone should have stayed in bed, but falling up naked, she got torn. Seven, Bobby Talbot. After a marathon of sexy times, he just had to be selfish and try to flee naked by foot. So yeah, he got bitten, then sworn by the slugs. I'll take full responsibility. You ain't got the authority to declare happy birthday. Not in this town. Eight, Frank Phillips. Slugs swarmed him in his mouth, his groin, popping out with slugs. It always amazes me with the amount of alcohol in this film. It's a wonder that anyone gets anything done, even Mike Brady. Take for instance this woman. She drinks nonstop, and I do believe she has an alcohol problem. She even says so and she tries to redeem herself, but then again, it could be the slugs talking. She does make a slug salad for her husband before he goes on an important meeting for a big deal the following day. It's like, how can you not see that there's black things being cut up in a green salad? These are not anchovies and the blood. So does she not wash off the lettuce? Because I'm sorry, you need to wash off the lettuce. What is it? Another crack. Maybe it was the anchovies that I put in the salad. Maybe the salad did taste a little salty. Nine, that deal is not going through. Sorry, Charlie. Always ask for bottled water in restaurants, but ultimately, his wife did him in with that chopped slug salad the night before. And I love the slug superpowers, how it just makes everyone's eyes pop out. It makes sort of like a spaghetti string come out of your brain, and then it just leaves no more trail. Like everyone in the restaurant is just staring at this guy. Why isn't anyone helping him or at least throw a tablecloth on top of him? Help this man. It's just stuff like this in this film that makes you crack up. Number 10. The policeman? Huh, yep. Slugs, he was swarm. It'll uh, make them explode. Explode. Yeah, it reacts to the moisture in their bodies. Let me get this straight. You want to take something that explodes when it comes in contact with water down into the sewer. Mm -hmm. You're crazy. Number 11. Don Palmer? Just don't go in the sewer. He was swarmed in the sewer because he fell over. Yep, you're dead. Oh. And Mike Brady, our hero and main lead. Yep, they did you in. I'm gonna add you to the tally because you're blonde, you're a teenager, and it seems like you don't know what to do. I'm just gonna assume she died, she fell in in the fresh water. A large part of this movie was dubbed because a lot of the people making the film didn't speak English and the English speakers didn't speak Spanish. You kind of would have thought that they would have had a translator on set, but I digress. Okay, this kill count is extra. And since there was an explosion throughout the entire town, I'm just gonna call it, assuming that everyone was near something. But we all know that that's not true because we do see people fall down at the site of the explosion and we can assume that they do get back up. But I'm gonna call it. The whole town just disappears with an explosion of the entire town. So there you go, Slugs the Movie. Go check it out and watch for yourself. It's a fun horror flick that you will always remember. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next Kill Count right here on the channel.